You know we're 30 when we're talking about birds. <laughs> Every goddamn episode. Here we go again. This is just saying, hooping it up. Yeah, like whooping it up. There you go, man. Got one, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. How much for you to fight Conor McGregor? Dog? That's the worst than when your jeans don't fit anymore. It's like, huh, these jeans got smaller. <laughs> no, lard ass, you got bigger. <laughs> We're not able to spend all day outside hooping it up, you know? <laughs> oh, that's where the hook is. Also, you got the wrong rod. <laughs> Did you just cut yourself? Don't show the camera the middle finger. <laughs> nah, nah, I think I'm good. Uh, also, that's yeah. where the hook is. Jesus Christ. Well, I went to like grab it and all of a sudden the hook just caught me. This is a disaster already. Yeah, you know. As is tradition for the, the rod cast. Am I in the shot, man? I mean, I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. Check them out. B-A-B Rodcast. Rodcast. Yeah. God, we're too old to be having the same shirt on. <laughs> hey. No? Uh, I feel like it's common nowadays, man. People will do it. Although maybe it's they do it out of like the whole being ironic thing. You know? They're trying to be ironic and wear the same clothes. I don't know if that's the right choice of words, ironic. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like the whole thing they do, the reason why they do it. For the irony of wearing the same shirt? Yeah. Might be for the the whole spoof. What you do with yours? Worms. Now you drink. I already finished it. You finished it? Yeah. I was about to bring it over here. Well, I was figuring we just sit here and drink it until we were ready to go. Ah. Huh? Yeah, we could drink it. Well, you could drink yours, I guess. I mean, we could, no wonder you were like, What'd you say before? I already forgot. Uh, <laughs> reflexes. I said I said the wrong word for reflexes. I was like, I don't know. Reflexes? No. I don't remember. Uh, he also said it was ironic that we're wearing the same shirt. This well, is a sweet shirt, though, man. I like it. I like the way the bass. This guy out. drew this bass on here. Came out real good. That little bottom. It's real thing nice. Too, I'm not sure about his little front. Like fins like that, but you know, I was like, eh. yeah, he's a little slow. That's all. Why does he have three fins though? Because he has like the side, and then they have like fins on the bottom or something. Do they? I was looking at like pictures of bass, and like, huh. I'm like, huh. Look I guess I never noticed that. Yeah. They got like the small underneath fins, and they got oh yeah, side well, fins. Like even like the the top fin, like here. Remember how I was talking about? You know, it's a big bass when they have this fin back here. But then I was looking Ooh, at yeah. and like some bass have it and they're small, but then other bass don't have it. So now I'm like, do I need to do a search on like bass gender? But I, I thought that might be a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. No, we don't want to misgender any bass. So now I'm like, you know, eh, maybe it's just like a thing where it's like some bass got it, some bass don't, you know? I mean, did you bring any rags? No. I literally thought of it and then we were like walking away from the truck. Problem is the truck is right there, but we're both mic'd up. Yeah. Well, you got a worm there. Give me half yeah. of that bad boy. I hope we got that... pants. What? So we got pants. I'll just wipe it on my new shirt. <laughs> oh man, not on the shirt. Not on the shirt. You got some nice jeans on there. Wipe it on them. Those jeans you're gonna wear to a Hell's Kitchen the other night. How do you remember that? Yeah, I had these jeans on last night. <laughs> no, I only... those exact jeans. Yes, oh. I only have like three pairs of jeans. All right, fair enough. I'm obviously because I've gotten too thick. <laughs> oh. Is that oh, the I worst of when a... your jeans don't fit anymore? It's like, huh, these jeans got smaller. <laughs> no, lard ass, you got bigger. <laughs> uh, I've, I've washed these jeans too many times. They're getting smaller. Yeah, what the hell? These jeans, it's, it must be the washing machine. Yeah. No fat ass. You're getting bigger. Uh, but I'm... also, these are the, you know you're getting fat too, but I, these jeans are like the stretchy kind. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they got like the, the, waistband, the waistband on band. them. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mowed around the pond here today. I was gonna say this looks super clean. Looks over nice, here. don't it? It's a nice spot, man. Look at the leaves on the trees over mm. here too, and the swamp maples. Oh yeah. Oh man, now if only we can foliage. catch some fish. 
Oh, look at little catch, man. Look at that bower. Is it moving? Nah. Uh, it might be moving because of the ripples, but it might be moving because something's going after it. I want to catch a nice bullhead. Just a nice, nice bullhead. Funny, too, because these poles probably should be smaller for the fish we're going after. Because They're the longest poles of all time. When I was like, the reel is out here. I don't know if, if people can see it, but the, the what do you call this part of the rod? The end? Stabilization. Stabilization? Shaft? The irony shaft? The irony shaft. It's just so long. It's like, you gotta like, it's like for salt water. Yeah. Look at that. Salt water action. Yeah, this pole is really too big. I don't know what else you'd use it for. Well, I mean, it does say on the pole that its line recommendation is 10 to 20. So... Well, no, it says 10, 15, 20, 30 pound on here. Huh? On here. Oh! On the oh, reel. Right. Ah, so it yeah. says 15. That's how many yards you want on it. I'm just saying, like, the pole itself is, like, meant for big fish. Because when I was looking up uh, the pole I was going to buy... Uh, I was trying so you to ordered a new pole, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, well, you ordered a new pole. I also ordered, I ordered a bait <laughs> caster. I'm not a bait caster kind of guy. never had one. But after using the, the Timu one there, you're like, hmm. No, that's not why I got That would have sent me the other direction. <laughs> that, that, that specific piece one. piece of garbage you have. <laughs> hey, man, we don't I know. I tried it again, too. I just, like, casted it out here the other day. Yeah. Tried to figure it out. The thing sucks. I think it's a line. I think you, no. I think you got what you There's paid for. There's also like knobs in there that probably need to be adjusted. I probably, tried to adjust them. You adjusted I adjusted the drag. The, you, there's like other knobs on there. Did you touch all the knobs? I touched every knob it had, <laughs> and I couldn't. It, every time it was a tangled mess. I think it's the line. I mean, I did go for an aggressive line for probably not. What well, it's dental meant. floss was the line yeah. you got. It was dental floss? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily though, I did buy some new line that's coming in. So you did order that? Yep. They oh. had eight pound braided. Yeah, I got eight line. pound braided. I got a cast king eight pound braided. It doesn't matter as long as you get. Yeah. Well, see, I, I might be making. I might. I'm gonna try to make the commitment to cast king. I'm gonna give them a test. I'm gonna see how good it is. Because I was looking them up online, and they're all about like trying to make good quality products for affordable prices. So I'm like, let me give them a try. So it's the affordable price I got you, not the. Not the it's quality also items. American made, although the one I bought off Timu is probably made in China. That was the most recent one you saw. The one I just bought is uh, made in America, I believe. But huh. who knows? It could be made in China, and then they they pulled the they pull that sneaky card of it's assembled in America. So, you know, it's like yeah, of course it's assembled in America when we put it together when we get the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah like they that try they try sense. to like fool you by being like, you know, ah, it's made in America, but in reality it's like, sure. no, nah, this was this was made in China. You guys just put it together over here. Where's our shirt made? Guatemala. <laughs> Is there anything more American than having your <laughs> your products outsourced somewhere else so you make more money? That's the most American thing <laughs> oh, you yeah. can do, I think. Maximize There's profit. nothing more American than, ma yeah, maximizing your profit. I think, though, if you make your products in America and you're still able to have a successful company, that's, like, the most American thing. Because then it's, like, you're showing your American pride, but then at the same yeah, time, Yeah, but you could like, always make more money elsewhere. Mm. Yeah, although nowadays it's it's changing, I feel like. No, it's not, because America, it just costs too much to live Well, it costs here. too much for American-made products. But I'm saying, like around the world like the whole like idea of like th stuff being made in China like that's going away for some reason like things are starting to be made like outside of China I'm a little concerned we can't drown a worm right now oh my god language ah oh, sorry family channel family channel man that could not have gone worse hit the weeds yank it out hits your line you know what's funny is I almost drove the mini in here today and dug all these weeds out, but I didn't because I was like, I don't want to, I knew we were going to film tonight and I didn't want to disturb what was in the oh, pond. Oh, yeah. But I guess running the bush hog might have still disturbed everything in here because I'm not getting not one bite. And I know there's fish in here. Yeah, but it could be the time of day. I mean, uh, I think yeah, it's like not that, quite late like enough It's yet? just not that quite time. Like, we've fished this enough to know that those bullheads get... Yeah, they, they only feed at a certain time. They get hungry at one time of the day. 
By the time you can't see us on the screen is when they're going to start feeding. Nah, man. We're closing in on it. It's all a little, like, you know, I don't know what you call it, breaches, I guess. We're going to stick with the breaches term. We're well, like, I'm not seeing any breaches. There's one just over there a second ago. There's a couple in front of us here, like, when we were sitting down. I wish I had a couple breaches hanging with us right now. <laughs> Nothing like a couple breaches hanging out with you. Do you also like that thing I sent you about the bird watching? Yeah, I saw that. You know we're 30 when we're talking about birds. <laughs> Every goddamn episode. Here we go again. Uh, I had Another to, I, episode I, I had with birds. To, I had to confirm it, man. I had to confirm it that like you just reach a certain point in your age where you start talking about, oh, that's a whatever kind of bird right there. Yeah, bird watching is the oldest. It's for old. Retired people. Retired, retired. And I just want to clarify that. I don't want to cause any problems here. People with less pigment in their skin. Mm. That's because they can't spend too much time outside, so they probably they try to utilize their time outside bird watching. <laughs> Birds? <laughs> you know. Okay. They're not able to spend all day outside hooping it up, you know? <laughs> All right, you brought it there, not me. <laughs> Hooping it up? Hooping it up, you know? What do you think I'm talking about? Basketball? I'm just, this is just saying. What else are you talking about? This is just saying, hooping it up. You know, like whooping it up. Hooping it up in the neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom <laughs> got scared. scared. And so you move with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air. All right. Oh, great show. <laughs> uh, now there's a lot of wildlife right here though. As you sit here, you just hear the crickets. You hear the birds. It won't you hear be the too lack long of fish we of, hear the on your frogs pole. croaking too. What? The frogs. Frogs don't come around till the springtime. I could have sworn they come around here like in the fall. Oh, the peep frogs are in the spring. Mm. The peepers? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of, so. I know it is. That's why I said it. I've had not one bite. This is not good. Hey man, this is the time. Do you think this, this is finally time. the time where all the fish died in here? Nah, dude, we got bass in here. I have proof. Ah. Uh, okay. That was that was not quite the reel I wanted. Or catch. I just know that catfish hole is right there. Oh yeah. But when they start biting, ooh. There you go, man. Got one, baby. I said when they start biting, as soon as I threw it in there. What do you think I got? You got a lot of catfish. Hey, <laughs> he's a decent size. Got a green sunfish. I'm 100% sure these are green sunfish after all my research and all my years of. That's salvageable, man. Don't worry. Good thing we're on the shore. We're <laughs> in a, if we're in a boat right now. Oh, yeah. Look at the mouth of that guy. Yeah, or look girl. That, look at that cone too. Like yeah, you're right. You're right about the fins, because this guy's got a fin over here, and then the bottom fins. Yep. And this wiener fin he's got. Oh yeah. <laughs> Easy now. Don't oh, be, family channel. Don't be, getting, sorry. don't be getting that guy too excited now. Hold on, I gotta get up and get my. I'm stuck on a branch next to this. Dang it. Okay. 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 All right, that makes me feel a little better. There's fish in here. Oh, yeah. Look at it. I still got the worm on there, too. Yeah. Feel bad for the fish. It didn't get... Well, hopefully you got a little bite. Got a little taste. Don't worry. I'll give it to him in the next man, one. That's, that's like right in the, the same spot, spot, man. Right it's going to be another fish. Oh. 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 Oh, there it is. Nope, not yet. Better hope he doesn't get no smart fish there. He just picked your pocket. Smart fish? Yeah, man. Smart food? Smart food, smart fish. All right, ain't nothing happening over here. Oh, oh no. I knew I should have, I, sh I knew I should have. I'm gonna get a hook in the eye. I just went to the eye doctor. I'm gonna get a hook in the eye. <laughs> yeah, and I lost the worm. Don't make, <sighs> hate to see it. All right, I'm, I'm gonna stick to just casting right over here. Well, don't cast where I'm casting. 
I can't make any promises. You've seen my accuracy. Oh. Just don't hook me in one of my eyes and then, because I just bought a whole year's supply of contacts and that means <laughs> I only would have needed one eye, not two, so. Yeah. You know what freaking contacts cost? Oh boy. I don't know. Like, for a year. For a year? I feel like it's a large number, like $500 or something? $672. That's insane. That's criminal. I'll stick to my glasses. Yeah, I should too. I know, I guess you do, like you lose, oh, there you go. Oh, this is a good fish. Yeah. Is that a bullhead? It's weird, all of a sudden they bite you, see? That's a nice yeah, bullhead. Yeah, there we go. This is a big bullhead. Oh, he's, he's healthy. Look at where I got him too. Oh, man, Both perfect. lips. So he shut the hell up. Look at that bullhead. Mm, he's nice. <laughs> If you like them that much, why don't you get a room? <laughs> I'll get a room and I'll start feeding them. That's a nice bullhead. Oh, yeah. That might be one of the biggest ones we've caught in here. Dude, he's got a huge head. These bullheads, man, are so resilient. They just can live in anything. They've been in here since I was a child. Took my worm. See, he got the worm. Yeah, he deserved it. Big boy like him. Big boy like him deserves a nice worm. Yep. Oh, I wish we had a rag, but as you said, I got pants, so. Yep. I got pants, I got pants. Oh I man, my spot. casts are the money. money. Spot. Oh, if y'all could God. see. Think about money. Oh, right away. Oh. Oh. Now we're in the same spot. Who's worm are they gonna choose? Yeah, mine's been dangling there for a while. They're gonna probably go for yours. They're gonna go for a dangly worm. Or they're gonna <laughs> go for a sought-after worm. That's true. An ironic worm. An <laughs> ironic worm. Worm. That's, that's what I'm gonna name the episode: fishing with ironic worms. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just took up your spot. But I'm gonna catch a fish first. That's right. Watch this, I'm gonna catch him. Oh no! <laughs> You're gonna get tangled in that structure. Reel it in. Yep. Hold on, what if I do like one of these? You're not saving it. You're tangled on the Ready? How'd that work? <laughs> Unbelievable. That was that was irresponsible of you. I didn't think you I could get that the, distance. Actually, man. you know what? It's my fault because I made it so that you couldn't throw it in your spot. I didn't think I could get that kind of distance on my rod cast. No, that's that's stuck. I think we don't have a canoe down here. There you go. That's working. Just snap it off. Snap it? What else are you gonna do? Well cut it. Don't cut it because then I'm gonna have to I guess I can get all the line tomorrow. God. There's like one branch down in this whole pond. There's a multiple branches there's over there. There's not man. a multiple branches <laughs> down there's, there's here. There's a bunch of them. Honestly, take it and just walk straight back. All right. Pulling it tight. And I'm going to get out of the way. All right, I'm just going to take this mic off real quick. Hang her up. Be back momentarily, folks. Tighten up your drag. Hmm? Tighten your drag up. I never know which way to turn it. Is it left or right? Right. There you go. 
what you wanted. That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. It is honestly my fault, isn't it? <laughs> well. Should we go back to the one pole action? Maybe. Probably best for the time being, because we ain't got Seeing as we're just sitting here on our ass, not even... We we're not bass fishing, we're ass fishing. We're ass fishing. Of course, we ain't got much time to fish anyways. And we're also fishing the exact same spot, so. Yeah. Can you reel right hander or do you want me to flip this bad boy around? I can reel right. Especially with I these. I don't know why I like fishing left though. That's like the weird thing. It's not weird though, because actually I'm weird. I fish backwards. Because a right handed person usually wants to have their right hand on the rod. Yeah. Oh, I've got a moment here. Why don't we talk a little UFC action? Sounds good, man. The UFC is like us. They're in shambles. <laughs> they got some quality goat action going on, though. Some what? Quality goat action. Goat action? Yeah, because we're talking about UFC. Yeah, Dana White is all about these guys stepping up. 295 or whatever this one coming up is. What is it? I think it's 294. 294? Look it up. Let's get it exactly right. Yeah, we'll we get it. Get, in case someone double checks our information. <laughs> it's whatever uh, Makachev versus Oliveira was supposed to be. Yeah. Can you believe Oliveira is out because of a cut? One that, week before the fight. That he got in his last sparring session. He was supposed to get on a plane. You know what? I don't... Now that you just said that out loud, I don't know if I believe that. You think it happened I bet you it happened before. Because Dana White went on saying, these guys don't tell me things until it's too late. Mm. So that makes me believe this probably happened a couple weeks ago. Yep. They got it stitched up in Brazil. Probably not the best doctor. <laughs> no offense. Uh, and that probably was an issue. And then they brought it to Dana's attention this week. Which Dana's probably not very not happy, happy about. about. All right, yeah, you're right. 294. 294. So we got Volkanovski stepping up. Yep. Taking the fight. On 11 days notice. How do you feel about it? Uh, I don't like it for him from the perspective of, like, winning, like, being prepared because he just had surgery. His wife just had a child. Uh... The man's literally coming in, like, hopefully, like, he's been working out. Like, he may not be, like, his weight class weight, but hopefully he's been working out to the point where he's still, I don't like, think he would take it if he wasn't going to make weight or... No, I don't mean make weight. I just... Because, like, he's, he's, he has to move up 10 pounds. Oh. Oh, I oh, lost him. Oh, man. Popped right yeah, off. Yeah, he's going to move up 10 pounds. And, which I think would be reasonable for him because he's probably so used to like walking around weight around there. Right. So it's like you know easy to cut. So my I, pro my I problem. I think it's just the fighting stamina though. Like it's got to be tough. Yeah, be able to go five rounds with Islam again. Yeah. Although. But he's such a savage. He probably. I, yeah. He's probably ready oh. to fight. Wow. There we go. I think he's probably ready to go at all times. You know. Yeah. And I just saw a thing today where he, he was calling out uh, Islam, saying that, like, you know, he's going to go for the finish. He's like, the pressure's on you, like, whatever he said, like, big boy. <laughs> the pressure's on you. Big boy. <laughs> big boy. And, uh... Dude, I just hooked my Rodcast shirt. Oh, no. Well, it had to happen. It was, at least it was off of a fish rather than just right. straight up Unlike, hooking it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my problem with it, though, is that, so Islam, I mean, uh, Volkanovski is going to take, ow, stab my finger, is going to take this short notice fight, and then he's probably going to lose, let's be honest, because even with a full camp, I mean, maybe he won that last fight, we don't know, I mean, we do know who won, but it's up for debate, I mean, but he's not going to get the UFC says they're going to reward guys for taking short notice fights or doing what they want to, like trying to help the UFC out. But at the end yeah. of the day, the UFC doesn't care. Oh, yeah. They're all about their bottom dollar and making money. And whatever the next fight for Islam would be, it was whatever it would be. 
So like, if he loses the fight, they're not gonna do him a favor and be like, oh, sorry, it was two weeks notice. Like, nah, you lost the second fight, sorry. You got all your chances at 55. So, I... Now, Volk is in the position of, if he loses, He's got to hope that Islam goes up and stays up. He's got to hope that Islam's moving up, staying up, and that way he gets another chance to go after the title because I don't know who would go, who would get the title, probably Oliveira, because Oliveira would probably beat anybody that's like top in that class right now. Well, he's beaten everybody that's not named Islam Makachev. Yeah, that's my point. Is the problem. Yeah. So it's like Oliveira gets the title. Uh, he, no way he moves up. I don't think he could do well moving up. He's Oliveira. Yeah, his size. No, his size was a, is not conducive to being able to. Oliveira was a 45er, and then he went up to 55, and that's when he kind of figured things out. Yeah. I just don't understand why he was sparring, no headgear, week before a fight. The one thing you use headgear for is to not get cuts. Mm-hmm. And what does he do? Gets he gets cut. cut. Yep. So that's that's why I think it was before. Yeah, like this a, week. Yeah, that would make sense. I don't think Data wants to say it because I don't. I think he oh, likes yeah, Charles. Was, and he doesn't yeah, want to throw him under the bus like that. He doesn't want to like throw him under the bus. He'd rather like people just believe it. Well, even uh, Costa. Had, yeah, Paulo Costa's out. He had a reasonably major injury. He said, "No big deal. I'm still gonna fight," and then. Did you hear what, what it was, though? Uh, yeah. Well, he said his doctor said he had um, some staph. bacteria infection. Yeah. Oh, he had staph, which is it's a big deal. Staphylococcus or something like that? A staph infection, which is a big deal. Well, you have it's to like get the that. actual name because he, he posted about how he had something. You said a staph full of caucus. I don't think that's <laughs> staph, what it's called. Staphylococcus or something. I'm about to like look up his like in, the Instagram post that like he had staff a staff all right yeah staff in, in his call elbow. it a staff in infection his, in his elbow oh I got a fish on here right though it was in his elbow it's in his elbow yeah, yeah which you right. need so to get has, you need to get that fixed yeah that's an understandable one so that was like okay like you know because he that's he was, not his fault he was he was all about fighting he's like no nah, I'm still gonna fight so it's like okay he was like ready to go but like, had another sunfish by the way yeah <laughs> the old sunfish. Hey man, so you want to like, take over this? That's reasonable. But I think like for like you said, when it comes to Oliveira, more than likely he had something else going on. You know what's weird is this is the same exact way that the Chimaya fight went last time. Remember they had to switch guys the last like they had to switch the right whole before, card. All, all the fighters had to fight different yeah, guys right before yeah. the end of the, like Everybody was different weights. You know, they were like losing their mind. They're like, what's going on? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I don't know. But just like why even make predictions on the fight? Because it's like, you know, Islam's been training, so he's probably going to win. Right? And then Makachev, I mean. uh, Kamzat. Kamzat. See the though? Chechnyan. Ah, God, man. How's that versus Usman's Usman? a beast, though. Usman's been training. I think Usman's been planning on moving up. So I think that's a that's a fight that's like he's probably ready for. You know what I mean? Yeah, but take comes out on ten days notice. I don't know. I man. don't know. Like, see anybody taking comes that dude? Like anybody fighting him? That's a tough fight. Quit reeling like that. I can't with help your it. fingers. I can't help it, man. Like, you get that little whoop, 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 whoop. Usman's a beat. I'm actually more excited, I think, about Are that you, fight. That That's like the main card, in my opinion. That's a main event. The main event. Don't say main card yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. I'll try not Structure. to. Structure. Structure. <laughs> yeah, I'm more excited about that. And the winner of that's going to get Strickland, which I think is good because... I think the winner of that is going to fight very soon after that. I think that's a January fight card. Yeah, I think in three months they they fight again, yep. which is what Kamzat's like not been able to get fights. So I think they're yeah. just going to be like, all right, whatever. If you can't get a fight and you keep winning, we're just going to give you a title shot. Yeah, if he beats Usman, that's that's an immediate. Just give him a title shot. Let him be the champ. And but he also he, hasn't then fought. people have to but fight. But he's going to get a title shot at 185. He hasn't beat anyone that, that's even a 185-er. 
That's true because he's fighting Usman, who's literally never a fought. seventy. He beat Holland, which wasn't at eighty-five, but they yep. fought it. He was that at was seventy now. Weight. Yeah, like hasn't beaten uh, an AV yeah. fiver, and he's gonna get a title shot. And, uh, That's the, crazy. The, the Holland thing, it's like if him fighting Holland, like. That's like more of, I don't want to say a joke, but it's like the matchmakers knew ahead of time. Well, the, they didn't because that wasn't supposed no, no, to be no, the no, fight. I'm, oh, wait, all right. The matchmakers knew literally when that fight was announced that that was a joke. Like, okay, all the money's going to Comstock because yeah. everybody knew Comstock going to take him down. He's going to choke him out. Well, he was supposed like to fight Nate Diaz, remember? And he was supposed to, he was going to dismantle Nate Diaz. Mm. Yeah. God, man. Kamsa is like the dark horse in the UFC as far as like nobody wants to fight him. He finally has a top He had that fighter, great run. A world class fighter. Yeah. And it's like if he if he comes out and I Kamsa you, granted you're never gonna see this. But if you do see it and you see it before you fight, you better come out and you better take down Usman and beat him quickly because you need to establish yourself as a great fighter. Don't pull that nonsense you pulled with uh you almost said Costa. Something else. Wait, no, what? Costa, right? Who? He fought Costa and he... Who fought Costa? Kamzat. He, he was supposed to fight him this weekend, or next weekend. Oh, wait, that... The, who's the other Brazilian? Um... Burnt now. Yeah, Gilbert Burns. He fought Gilbert Burns. Also Brazilian, yeah. Yeah. And he, he was in the dog fight with Gilbert Burns. Yes, that's when he had a slobber uh, yeah, knocker, yeah, yeah. some would say. Yeah, I'm, I mean, no offense to the Brazilians out there, but I swear y'all are like exactly the same in my book. Also, they're two for two pulling out of these fights. <laughs> but who are we? We're giant whales. Whales. Anyways, though, Kyle's out fighting him. I think that was a mistake where he got in the dog fight. And Let me get a good cast on this thing. Oh, yeah. I don't like your cast in action. Yeah. Anyways, like that's that's in my opinion what like things went downhill because it's like he kind of like you know he he looked weaker because he got in that dog fight when he should have just took him out he like he should have took him out choked him out finished the fight quick that's what he's got to do against Usman if he wants to prove that he's a yeah top. but Usman can wrestle is a problem uh, yeah well yeah that's like my whole thing though is like. He's got to come out, and he's got to look for it. It's an, an early interesting finish. fight. I honestly like it more than I do Costa. Yeah. Well, but Costa is a legit 185. Mm. That's a big man. All right, he's got the secret juice. I think if let's say Kamzat wins, beats Usman, gets a title fight, I think he could Costa the next next shot at a rematch. Unless Strickland like comes out and like no, because he's gonna get a title shot. No, no, no. I'm saying like. He fights Strickland, wins against Strickland. Like I don't think Costa doesn't get a title Boston, shot. give Boston, yeah, well. You know what I want to see, though, is when uh, Kamzat wins. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, man, those Cold weasel get you. Look you how know, braided that thing. And it's in my hand. No, you know what I think is going to happen? Is uh, Adesanya is done for a while. Yep. Bo Nickel is going to get one more win. And then he's going to fight Kamzat, and that's going to be the biggest middleweight fight ever. I love Bo Nico, but he stands no chance as of right now against Kamzat. That will be the goddamn Crusades, though. The USC will be like... The that's Crusades. a wrestling match? Crusades are happening. That's an insane wrestling match. I don't think We're going to see what Kamzat's think... wrestling is when he fights Usman. Usman, yeah. Usman's the ultimate test. But of... also, Usman's lost twice now. He's getting older, man. You know? Yeah. Father time. Ooh. Oh man, that oh! I'm telling you, man, you gotta get out that's in that deep good. pocket yeah, over there. Yeah, there's there's something over there. Where they're sunfish, hanging out. No, that nope, sunfish. Oh yeah. Oh, he's barely on there. Barely. I need some warm on here. I didn't buy these for no reason. <laughs> also, we're getting late in the year. We gotta use them, otherwise they're gonna die. Oh yeah. Start a worm farm though. We say that every time. We talk about birds and we talk about worm farms. <laughs> and we don't like animals that much, <laughs> to be honest. All right, so let's say Kamzat beats Usman. All right, let's, finish, let's wrap this UFC talk up. Yeah, yeah, that's what, I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to get at. So Usman loses, which, I mean, to be fair, I think yeah, he's, he's, get, after he's that. getting old. 
You think he would try? Yeah. I thought he, I thought he might just try to like go up a uh, go up a weight class and then just hang. That out is there. up the weight class. What about like where he's at now? He just hangs out there for another like couple. Dude, of years. he's like 35, 36. Is I don't it? know. If, mm. Have yeah. you seen? The, have you seen? I forget that like some of these guys like you know the the years go by quick where you don't. I know, dude. How like we just started they, watching they him like win. Like yeah, you, you see this guy win a few years in a row, holds the title, and then all of a sudden it's like. Man, this guy's old. Like he's up, he's past his prime. Have you seen the statistic for guys that are over thirty-five, winning world titles? It's like terrible. It's like one in like sixty in the past like ten years or something. Jeez. And I'm guessing the only one is Glover Teixeira. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> the, the only guy that I can honestly say that I know was up there in age because he was forty years old or whatever when he won the title. Yeah, I think that's it. Man. It's not good, and they're all there. You know what? And Izzy says he's going to take a long time off. He's, he's up getting there, in there age. too. Yeah. Oh, oh. Something's getting after it. Man, it's a deep pocket, man. I don't know if I got one on here or not. I oh, think so. no. Yeah, no. All right, let me get a little cast, then you can get in here and reel them in. I'm like a little child, I feel like. Get the cast out. Here you go. And, all right, reel them in, son. You take this rod, this reel right here, and you reel them in. Oh. No, no, no. Not yet. Oh. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Not yet, son. Not yet, son. Okay. Okay, son. Right here. Oh, wait for it. No, 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 no. no. Just kidding. <laughs> I ain't nothing on that. No, you you got to wait for him. You got to wait for him to take it, son. You should have waited for him. You should have waited. Oh. oh. Here you go. No. Uh, uh. Wait for him to take it, son. Wait for him to take it. Wait for him to take it, son. He ain't bass fishing. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta shake him. Just wait for him to take it. Okay, somebody, somebody will come by and come see it. Okay, you got a yard sale out there. Okay, somebody will come by, buy and buy something. Now you ain't gonna spend ten dollars. You might spend twenty-five cents, but you're gonna come buy it. <laughs> you're gonna come buy it. Oh, oh! Here we go, son. Here we go. Oh my God! All right, let's end this bit and just say what do we got. All right, who's it? Uh, just pick the fight. Just pick the fight. Islam Volk, we got. I got Islam. I got Islam as well. However, I really want Volk. To I win. want Volk. To I think win so the, bad. the Hollywood, the Hollywood ending would be. And I also kind of want Usman to win too. Mm, nah, I, no, want I don't Kamzat. want Usman. I want Kamzat to win. I, I hope want, it's a sick fight. Too. I hope it's a great fight. I hope. I honestly, though, I hope Kamzat just comes out and just starches him like immediately. Like just get the hype. Kamzat hype train back in, like going like spinning heel kick knockout. Oh, spinning heel kick knockout would make my day. Yeah, I also have Chumayev, so. Yeah, so Islam, right, let's, let's, Chimaev. Let's send this dead horse so we've been going 20 minutes on. All right. So. All right, so we both agree Islam wins. We both agree Kamzat wins. Yeah. Um, as far as everybody else on that card. Can I'm you just, name another person? Well, there's like uh, Ankolanev, Nurmagomedov. Oh, that's right. Ankolanev is fighting Ank uh, 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 Johnny Nerf. Walker, isn't he? I don't have to check that one. Check. I oh. gotta take a leak. Piss break. I'm pretty sure Ankle Live is fighting Johnny uh, Walker. <laughs> there's so many, there's so many Russians on that card that it's just like I'm like ah sure, yeah that guy. Yeah, yeah, it is on there. Oh man, that's gonna be a good fight. Alex Karov, Sed Nurmagomedov, Mohamed Moakev, Mohamed Yaya, Mohamed Abu Azariat, Yavid Basharat, Anzu Jubli, Mohamed Nayamov. We don't know them. Victory Dudikov, uh, Shara Magomedov. Zdeno Chara? Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of people. Anyway, so, I mean, the two top ones. I mean, Ma Magomed and Goliath. Magomed and Goliath versus Johnny Walker. Um, I'm going to guess you're going to go and Goliath. Definitely. He's going to just take him down, wrestle him, and 
Yeah, choke them uh, out. Anytime you gotta take a choice, pick the Dagestani. Yeah, said Nurmagomedov, he's winning. I'm gonna go with him too. And then Ikaram Alis Karov versus Warley Alves. I don't care. How much for you to fight Conor McGregor juiced? Is he a... Uh, what, what do you call? Yeah, why do we why do we worry about eight? them? We we'd be like, yeah, I'll fight Conor McGregor for how much money? When you just like in an octagon, right? Yep. But he can't put you to sleep. He's gonna knock you out. So you're gonna have some brain trauma. How much to fight Conor McGregor? Is it pay per view? No. Well, you get a set amount of money. You're All not right, gonna get. I get an appearance fee, basic, is what you tell me. But you're gonna be on pay per view in your underpants, first of all. <laughs> There's going to be a whale in the octagon on his <laughs> underpants. Oh. Second of all, the whole world's going to see you. I won't say, Third of all, this broadcast will probably be over after that. <laughs> I won't say a hundred grand. Yeah. To get knocked out. Well, I'm not necessarily getting knocked out. I'm just in an octagon with him fighting. Hey. <laughs> listen to me. You think I don't have what it takes? You get knocked out, unconscious. I don't know. Probably, definitely. <laughs> You're gonna get knocked Conor out. Conor McGregor juice stuff. He's definitely. I mean, the man called at himself like a 260 pound gorilla at one point, or maybe it was 205 pound gorilla. Doesn't matter. Regardless, the man claimed he's gonna knock you the out. The man claimed to be up over 200 pounds. If he was. He's definitely going to be packing a punch at that He rate. could be hammered and have the flu, and he'll still knock you out. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, he does know how to drink his Guinness properly, so hats off to him. That's not going to matter when he knocks you out. Yeah, but so we'll, we'll grand, have a Guinness afterwards, so. 100 grand to get knocked out? That's not bad. I think I'd do that. Yeah. I think that's a reasonable amount, 100 grand. Just for a little brain trauma? Yeah, like there's no guarantee that there's any lasting after effects. You just won't remember like one of your dog's names or something. <laughs> I just may not remember who I am for the first like 20 minutes. And Joe Rogan's going to be sticking What if he mic knocks you face. out and you like... Just, uh, what'd you think? You totally like change. You're just like, I don't like fishing anymore. Oh, God. That would, that would not be worth the money. I love being able to go out and just fish. Especially so 100 grand to not fish again? Hmm. I see that changes. See, well, changes now me. what? Now what? Maybe like. How much to never fish again? Five million. Five million. Yep. I feel like five million is enough where I can find another hobby. That's, that's, that gives me enough time to go through a few hobbies to be like, what am I interested in? I do like 20 million and then like. Make my own pond or lake, <laughs> and then, and then no one ever even know like I was fishing or not. <laughs> you just force yourself to like fishing again. I feel like we're not doing great here tonight fishing. I'm gonna give a little cast over there. See what I we don't got. know, man. Like you casting over there and you're catching them. I know, but you're I haven't in a bites. while now. You're getting the bites. Is I'm not... losing my worm. I think you gotta have a nice fat worm on there. Yeah. Which I paid for them. Might as well use them. Might as well kill them. Nah, 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 man. Use them. Don't say kill them. You two, ain't, them. You, you two ain't gonna like that. Come on. The macro skies, man. Makes me want to kiss the guys. The macro skies. <laughs> nah, it just means it's gonna be staying wet nor dry. There That's you a go. good cast right there. That's yeah. gonna be a fish. Hey, this is yours. All right. You're calling it. There you go, son. Here you go, son. Gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best, Daddy. <laughs> gonna do my best. I've never caught me a fish before. <laughs> I never gonna call no fish. Why do you have a Barn to Bruce Rodcast shirt on? <laughs> You two are grown men. Why do you both have the same shirts on? I'm Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm talking like Mike Tyson. But we also have a high voice. Mike Tyson, I'm going to eat your children. Praise Allah. Have you ever seen those interviews where he's like, he's just talking crazy, man. Like he just got punched too many times. He just 
You know what mind. it is? Is uh, you remember like in he the, got hypnotized or something? In um, the hang the Hangover, I think was uh, the movie is in. Right? Never seen it. Just kidding. Never seen it. Uh, the Hangover, like you know, he's like talking. He didn't really talk as high pitched as he does like in the interviews. I think he, no, I feel like he used to talk more high pitched than he does. Than he does now. now? Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, maybe. I guess it's tough because like I don't really like pay attention to like dates when the, he's talking. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm like you know like it's almost like <laughs> in the Hangover movie they're like, Mike, Mike, lower your voice. Huh? He also only had like four speaking lines. It's true. He's singing that song. He's like, oh yeah. I can feel it coming in the air at night. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. He knocks up Stu. Or no, Alan. Yeah. What's his name? Alan? Alan, yeah. yeah. The leader of the wolf pack. That's you. You're saying and I'd that be because, Bradley Cooper. You're saying that because I have an Allen body and you have a Bradley Cooper body? We both have Allen bodies. We I'm both sorry have to Allen be the bearer of net bad news. <laughs> Natty news. The bearer of bad news, Natty news. Bradley Cooper wishes he had this body. Oh, yeah. And this t-shirt. And this t-shirt. Dude. It's a nice t-shirt. Well, that's white, I'm gonna destroy it. But you know what? It was a good test shirt, you know what I mean? We had to make sure shirt. that like, you know. We had to make shirt that we could do it. Yeah. You don't wanna get the shirt and have it like look good. Oh yeah. All right, maybe another cast, huh? Yeah, I was just thinking that. It's uh -oh. so weird, like the certain pocket. Christ almighty. Still got the worm, man. Man needs a little adjustment. Everyone's worm needs a <sighs> boy. It's fine. How long been rolling, man? Probably an hour. Forty nine minutes. Hey, you know. Forty nine oh. minutes. God, this worm is like he's on the verge of death. What do you mean on the verge of death? Dude, look, I think he's dead. He's shitting himself. I'm sorry, language. Wouldn't you be shitting yourself if you had a spike ripped through your ass? Yes. And your mouth at the that's same time? That's true. If you had a spike all the way up through your body, watch the tree, out oh, right back into the tree. Ooh. That is ass. a money, man. That is a money, man. Yeah. That is money. That is a money. Ooh. You got a money on there. All right, son. <laughs> I'll send this podcast by getting you a fish. You haven't caught not one fish yet. Yeah, man. You mean no, man. <laughs> not one. Not one fish. Kind of like bass fishing, huh? There you go. Wow. Miracles do come true. Hey, Barnes and Bruce Rodcast. I'm going to end it here. <laughs> no, you better not, man. <laughs> you better not, man. <laughs> oh, you lost them. Barnes and Bruce broadcast, you still <laughs> lost them. We're out. Oh.